So, so, um, do you believe we're on borrow time? Yes, I believe we're on borrow time. You are now tuned in to Minutes with God Community Network with your host Ricky Lopez, bringing some interesting interviews and always keeping it about Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Hey, Ricky! Hey, Ricky! Hey, Ricky! Minutes with God. Minutes with God. Minutes with God. So the Bible says something like this, and it says something that um, a fool says there is no God. What do you think about that kind of statement? That comes out of the Bible. I just think that's stupid because I can believe whatever I want. Like, I, that doesn't make me a fool to say there is no God. I think it's insulting and manipulative, but that's my opinion. Uh, I think it just means, like, in my, in my interpretation is that a fool does not even consider the fact of a God existing. Right. That's how I see it, so I think it's like making fun of people that don't even consider that, like, oh, no, 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 like, what I know is right, instead of actually considering the chance or possibility there's a God. I mean, I don't, eh. So you took offense to it. You kind of saw it in a different kind of way. Yeah. See, Ricky told y'all, gotta spend time. We in the end times. Minutes with God, we went in the wall. Time to armor up and beat the streets down. Sin is everywhere, so we lead them to God. That's in Jesus' name. Breaking the chain, this the network, you know how the flesh work, the devil the perk, yeah I stay on alert, watching these demons lurk. I mean, it's my opinion, if you met Lucifer today, he would be a really cool guy, you'd love to hang with him. Or Lucy, she'd be a really cool gal, you would love to hang out with her. She would not be a demon, you wouldn't be scared of him, you wouldn't be scared of her or him. You'd be like, hey this is cool, but guess what? With time, the devil rose Prada. With time, with time, <laughs> correct. Yeah, be careful of that path. Be careful of the devil's path. Because in the beginning, it's sweet. But at the end, it could be sour. Yeah, very sour. Yeah. yeah, the Bible says there's a way that seems right to a man, but in the end, you know, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Jesus coming back, boy, I hope you ready for it. These signs of the time, blind leading the blind. But to save you remind, can wash your sins away. Repent right now, and you can be saved. Ricky on the streets, like day after day. Preaching the word, and displaying faith. Community network, minutes with God. The devil he lie, we know Satan the fraud. So one, one solid reason why I believe God exists. I'll just give, uh, so I'll give you one. Uh, I just think the fact that anything exists at all uh, to me points to someone who, who caused those things to exist. I am only 25, but I've never seen anything just randomly come into existence by itself. Uh, so when I look at the world, when I look at the universe, when I look at science, the more that I read into it, the more that I see the complexity of it. I'm like, man, there had to be someone who put this all together. So even when I think of you know people talking about the Big Bang, I'm like, somebody had to make that happen. Nothing just makes itself happen. So, so would your belief be common sense? Ah, uh, man, feels like it. I, I mean, I, I wouldn't want to, I guess, tell someone they're stupid if they disagree but for me personally I'm like again it seems I think you could probably ask a hundred people have you ever seen something randomly come into existence by itself and I don't think any one of them would say yes I've seen things randomly come into existence by themselves so that kind of seems like common sense to me and so God put us here and we're going through the natural process of life. But in this natural process, he reminds us that we're on borrowed time and that we need to put our hope and trust in him because there is a life after death. And so I think he, he gives us this concern about following him and, and coming to him now while we, while we have understanding of him because one day he's going to have to give us a fair handshake. And it's, the, it's through the cross of Jesus Christ where we have forgiveness.